So I have this tent type of thing for uh, protection from mosquitoes. I am gonna put this on. So ugly. I don't even know how to put these beshies on anymore. This is not how I want my room to look. Okay, it's supposed to look like this when I close it down, but uh, I'm not feeling it. It looks really ugly. It's also taking up so much space. Um, I'm gonna take it down. All of that work was for nothing, but I really don't like how it looks and this is making me feel really claustrophobic, so I'm gonna have to take it out. Also, um, the other day, one of my brackets came out and after like maybe two days after this one came out this one uh which one is it this one got off as well it's hanging in there but it's not connected and i have an appointment on thursday i don't know why they didn't just call me immediately to get this fixed but yeah i've got broken braces i have got an ugly tent situation and i have to do undo this all over again and i have to do laundry after this Oh, life isn't so great right now. And back into its nest it goes. Okay, the bed is made, but I still have to find the headband that I had. I don't know how it can just vanish into thin air. I had it like before I put on sunscreen, so it must be somewhere around here. I'm gonna search for that. It is Tuesday and I went to the gym and uh, I came home, I had some food. And then after that, I immediately started recording a short for YouTube that I have posted. It is about Mother's Day gift ideas. So you might've already watched it, but I was supposed to study economics because I have sorted out my subjects for the week. So on Sundays, I study for social and on mondays i study accounting tuesday is economics wednesday accounting again and thursday is business and friday is accounting again and i'm repeating accounting because it is a subject that i don't feel really comfortable in i'm not that good at numbers so uh, it can get tricky to do some stuff in accounting so i just repeat that and i ignore english and nepali because they're like language subjects so i don't have to really study anything for it i just have to be creative in the exams it is 6 41 right now and i really want to watch the apple event that is going to start in 7 15 i think i i want to watch that so yeah i think if i have some time after that i'm gonna study i also ordered a bag for my mom for mother's day tomorrow's mother's day in nepal and the International Mother's Day is like exactly a week later. So when this video uploads, you're gonna watch this video exactly on the Mother's Day. So I'm not gonna be getting it tomorrow, I think, because uh, they've only started the process a few hours ago. So I have no gift for my mom. So yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> not like this lighting so much better but the camera does not pick up the light very well and it looks really dark in here i probably have nothing else to do today so i'm gonna just uh study a bit more and see you guys tomorrow on mother's day it is wednesday and it is around 8 a.m i woke up maybe like an hour ago i have had my breakfast and it is mother's day today in nepal and I was planning to do something with my mom today, but I don't think she's uh, staying home. Plan is ruined, I think. And I also ordered a bag. It has not been delivered yet, but the app says it has been shipped. So I really hope that I get it today so that I can give it to her today rather than tomorrow. Okay, right now it is gym o'clock and it is kind of cold today and I slept like a baby. It was really cold cold i was really comfortable in my bed and if you've been noticing i have been wearing the same kind of tank in this video because these are literally so comfortable so breathable and it's kind of cheap as well it is only like 800 rupees which is a steal and this is not sponsored by the way so i will link them down in the description if you want to buy it now i'm gonna yeah go to the gym
50 and I have just gotten home. Now I'm gonna shower and have some egg sandwich. My mom tells me and my sister to call our aunt, call our aunt and uh, our grandma for Mother's Day because, well, they're mothers and play somewhat of a mother figure role in our life, I think. it's a while later and my mom told me that she won't be able to make it early so i'll have to go buy the stuff by myself but then she tells me she might come and then i've already made dinner for myself but then my mom's saying that we might have momos later so i don't know how that's gonna go but my cousins and my uncle and my aunt are coming over for dinner i'm gonna have the chicken that i already cooked and get the stuff that i need i've heard that um, if you walk immediately after eating, it helps with digestion and it helps to burn those calories faster. So yeah, I'm gonna have the chicken now with a banana. <laughs> yeah, I actually got back home and I could not film anything because I had both of my hands full. On this hand, I had the shopping bag filled with charcoal, you know, coal for the barbecue and other stuff that I got. And on this hand, I had the box of cake. So I was walking down the road like this. And at one point, this bag was fallen off, so that wasn't very nice, but yeah, I'm now home. My cousins are gonna come over later, so let's see what happens. So it's Thursday and it's 9.26 a.m. and now I'm gonna go to the gym. I've had my breakfast and I didn't really film much yesterday because well, our plans like flopped and uh, today I have an appointment and I'm also supposed to be getting the gift that I got for my mom. So yeah, that's gonna be happening and yeah, let's go to the gym now. it is really nice too as well uh i'm saying that because i really love when it's bright sunny and a bit of windy outside let me check so it's 76 degrees outside and i got my mom's gift here it is and i don't know if it's called a purse or a handbag how do you open this Okay, you just rotate this thing. I I was trying to scratch it off and I nearly broke it, but okay, there's a strap and wait, this is it? I guess it is. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to my mom after she comes home and I really hope she likes it. Now I'm gonna go take a shower and then have some rice and tofu. I've had my food and now it's like 3 10 and I have got Dennis at like um 4 so I'm waiting for my uncle to show up because my dad is out of town as usual he's gonna drive me there and I'm gonna get my braces fixed because somehow they came off so yeah we are back home and I got it fixed and the dentist told me to be a bit more careful from now and yeah now i'm gonna edit the video that you're watching right now my finals aren't really like this week i maybe have less than two weeks for my finals but i'm gonna be uploading this video on wednesday next week and my finals are gonna be starting on may 17th and I still have a lot of time and it's only May 6th today. I have started preparing for my finals and uh, I'm using some tricks and hacks so that I can get uh, fully into that finals mentality and I want to share some tips with you guys. And 
these tricks might not apply to everyone because you know they have everyone has their own separate thing going on they like to study in a specific manner and this works really well with me so i want to share it with you guys as well so tip trick hack whatever you call it number one is setting the ambience i personally like to study in a in environment that is really calm uh, has some natural lights and if natural light is not possible i just turn on my leds like this one i have uh some more in my walls as well i use one of my ring shaped lights with the tripod and face it to my ceiling so that the light is dispersed with the help of ceiling rather than hitting me directly and i tell you it is such a vibe so yeah I have some good lighting have a clean environment steady area should be clean as well and number two is timing i personally like studying either in the mornings or in the evenings and i've also kind of read somewhere that uh studying in the mornings or in the evenings is better than studying in the afternoon number three is taking adequate breaks so what i do is i maybe study for like um 30 minutes or an hour depending on how much time i've spent i take respective breaks i study for maybe like 30 minutes or an hour and then i take breaks in between ranging from five to ten minutes next tip is having some water and some snacks nearby next one is what everyone says and it's setting aside the electronics I personally don't have to do that because I'm kind of focused while I'm studying but sometimes notifications can be really tricky to ignore so what I do is I just turn my phone face down onto my desk and setting aside your electronics uh, maybe far away or into another room will be helpful. Sixth trick is actually understanding what you're studying rather than just reading. This is very obvious a lot of people do this but Many of my friends, I've noticed that they they say that they study, but they never study. If that makes sense? I understand the concept, the things that I'm studying, and I don't just read the stuff that is in front of me. It really helps you get creative and make your own answers in the exams if you don't know the exact one that you wrote in your notes and speaking of that i break down the major concept of the thing that i'm studying about so if i'm studying about business i just absorb in the information about the main features objectives of the business if any question in the exams branches off from the main concept i can just grasp on to what i have elaborated to myself and i can just uh, make up my own answers and the last one is getting some proper rest because if you're working out if you're doing household work anything you do you will need some proper rest and i do that by just sleeping i try my best to set aside the electronics before bedtime and then i try my best to get at least eight hours of sleep so those were the tricks and tips that i use to study those are really general ones uh you know you, they're not very specific uh, you can come up with your own ideas and stuff and yeah so i did not film anything while doing the barbecue because my hands were so full they were covered in the seasoning and chicken juice and whatnot it was dirty and i would not like getting any of that on my phone so we did have a good time and i am full now let's bring in my mom for her thoughts on the gift <laughs> a world's best saleswoman thank you for coming into my show thank you <laughs> So this was the end of the vlog and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I have had quite a lot of fun doing this video because well 
um, you know, nothing was going according to plan, but still I was having fun. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm gonna go sleep after I do my stuff that I have to do over here and then I'm gonna wash my face, brush my teeth and yeah, good night and I will see you guys next week. Thank you.